So a few weeks ago, I made a video on the YouTube channel of me farming Gulchers in Mirage and seeing how many cash potatoes I can get. You guys can click that and check that guy out if you want to watch that. But yeah, a few weeks ago, I made that video. It was, you know, it was pretty solid, you know, like some informative information. And uh, somebody in the comments, Blazing Armor, my good friend, thank you, thank you, thank you. My man said, sir, sir, the monkeys in the spider cave in the aerial jungle of Imperia. You guys need to check that guy out. So that's what we did. We checked that guy out and we farmed the monkeys in the cave, uh, the spider monkeys. These are monkey spiders to be more uh, specific. We farmed those guys for an hour, and it's my job right now to tell you guys how many cow tails I got in that hour of farming. So let's go ahead and do it. Drop your low, low. What you know? He was just tagging that stuff on the law. I might go ape on them superhero my So the spider monkeys uh, area is arguably one of the best spots for farming uh cow potatoes in Wizard 101. Arguably also the best farming spot, period, in the entire world or universe of, of Wizard 101. Mainly because of the other drops that it also drops. Not only does it drop cash potatoes, but also drops a bunch of jewels. People go there for jewel farming like all the time. And it drops additional seeds like evil magma peas and a bunch of other shit that I don't even know. But it's a, it's a lot, basically. It's a lot. These guys, you kill these guys, they give you a bunch of shit, basically. You know what I mean? So it's really, really, really good farming spot uh, in general for just seeds, jewels, and etc. Things that it also drops. So yeah, I farmed this area for an hour. And uh, I'm here to tell you how many cow potatoes I got in that one hour of farming. So well, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys don't know where this is located, it's in Imperia. I'm not sure what level you unlock Imperia. I think it's like around 100 or something. I think you get 100 in Mirage and Imperia's after Mirage. I might be completely wrong. I haven't played a game in like six, seven, eight months. But if you're, you know, if you're watching this video, you probably know what level it is and you've probably maxed out your wizard or some shit. But yeah, it's located in uh, Spider or Monkey Spider. I don't know why it's not Spider Monkey, but it's Monkey Spider. It's weird. But it's located in Monkey Spider Cave of Aerial Jungle in Imperia. If you guys don't know how to get there, just go ahead and go to Imperia. Uh, uh, look to your left there's a big ass fucking door you're gonna go straight through that guy go down a path uh keep to your left and there's a cave like literally five seconds after you go through that big door and then boom you're in a monkey spider cave place now this is a really good spot not only because uh it's just full of monkey spiders you're not gonna run into any additional mobs that you don't need to fight um there's plenty to go around you know what i mean so you can have multiple battles with multiple people in this one area not only that but the monkey spider school is a myth school which is good there are some yeah, there's some downsides but it's also a good thing uh for storm wizards because storm wizards have a 15 percent increased boost to monkey spiders so if you're a low level st uh, storm wizard you know or you just don't have the best gear in the world but you still want to farm yourself some couch potatoes you can go to this spot get that 15 percent increased boost and uh monkey spiders only have 2k health so you can probably knock those guys out within the first round you know what i mean uh which would be really really easy for you the only downside to the monkey spiders is mainly uh the death in the life school because it they are missing so they do have the uh ether either ether shield which goes on a minus 70 percent uh you know incoming damage from life and death um and you know sometimes they do this on the first round so if you're a life or you're a death school this might not be the best spot for you because there's a higher chance of you not even killing them on the first round uh versus other schools like fire balance you know storm uh, you know etc and on top of that they are myths so they do have three uh cards in their arsenal that will stun you uh those cards being blinding light which stuns all enemies for one round they also have myth banshee uh, which does a little bit of damage and stuns you and then they also have keeper of the flame not keeper of flame sorry they have legendary trent they do have keeper of flame but we're talking about legendary trent which does a little bit of damage and also stuns you so that's a little sucky you know you know what i mean if they go first round and they stun you you gotta wait a whole nother round before you can do your spell which is you know shitty but you know sometimes they don't do it usually you know when i was fighting for an hour usually they would shield up or they would just blade or they would just do their natural attack you know what i mean and you know i'm a fire wizard so i could pretty much just deal with all of that you know other than that you know their other cars are pretty minuscule you know they are myth so they're, they're not gonna have the most damage dealing cars in the first place you know what i mean their, their cars are you know low-key weak or whatever um another plus sign to this area there's health pips going around so you're never even going to die you know what i mean after you finish one battle just get some health pips you'd be straight uh now when it comes to the mana pips there aren't any mana pips in this area and i'm not i'm not sure that the main area of impira even has mana pips uh uh, if we're comparing it to places like Mirage, you know what I mean? So, you know, keep that in mind. Um, just bring some potions, you know, fill yourself up. And you should be, you know, you, you you should be fine. Now, what everyone's been waiting for is me to tell you how many couch potatoes I've got. Now, I, this isn't the first time I've farmed this place. 
place. Like I said, this is one of my personal go-to places for farming in general, whether it be couch potatoes, pierce jewels, or whatever. I think it's a really good spot. Now, in this one hour of farming that I personally did alone, solo, by myself, I got two couch potatoes in this one area. Now, there have been instances where I got more. There have been instances where I got less. You know what I mean? But I do believe it is a good, solid spot uh, to farm, considering you do get secondary rewards like 6% pierce jewels, you know, for whatever you know there's some crit jewels that you can get here as well and you know if we're min maxing everyone's gonna want those you know jewels or whatever you know and there's also gear drops here you can quick sell those if you want to so you know make a little extra gold on the side you feel me um but other than that you know i, I think it's a i think it's a pretty solid spot if i were to rate this spot i rate it like an eight mainly because it doesn't work for each individual school uh so if you're a deaf wizard if you're a life wizard or even a myth wizard i probably wouldn't farm here i probably farm somewhere else um but i mean if you're storm balance you know any other school other than the three that i said earlier this is a really good spot for you and i would definitely definitely do it but yeah thank you for watching this uh my friends if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave that like and please leave down in the comments below the next place that you guys want me to check out and farm just like my man blazing armor data that man is legendary thank you my friend and i will see you guys in the next video have a great day morning evening afternoon whatever the fuck it is for you you might be on the moon i don't give a fuck have a great day bro